Welcome to some more Digimon World Dusk. Last time, we became a Bronze Tamer. This time around, we will be proceeding with his plot this time around, since we also in the process discovered a new area. Uh, I did do some level grinding off screen thing because I realized that uh, most of my Digimon require a certain amount of a certain kind of XP. Uh, so I won't be able to do that. In the meantime, Just gonna do that. All right. Ah, the glories of playing this on emulator. In case one attack miss. Let's see what our little digital is doing in the farm. There you go. There you go. Shit, what was I doing? Yeah, we go from here. Back down. Give me a second. Fuck off notifications. Christ, that shit's annoying. Where was I? Oh, yeah. See, let's yeah. Oh, for fuck's sake. One major thread out of the way. I should probably heal up. Oh yeah, totally healing up after this. Ha, ah, Leomon. Or as Digimon fans call him, Redshirt. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think we do need to go through here in order to get the key from over here. The jungle key. Okay. 
Yeah, one of the perks of playing this on emulator is that you can... Son of a fuck. Uh, do I have... I have nine of these. I did not want to use them, but I'd rather not have the friendship of my Digimons go down. So let's do this. There we go. Had to use two revives there. Because <sighs> like I'm so used to like having the like end game sort of revive. So for those who don't know, in Digimon World, uh, Dawn and Dusk, there are different kinds of revives in this. Uh, there's the Digi Reviver, which uh, S, which uh, revives one Digimon, and then there's the Digi Reviver Ver D, which revives two Digimon. I don't know why it went after there we go we'll be taking that all right we use the key over I ain't doing this shit Poppy's level 12, and Purple Barb Bird is level 9. Cappy's still level 1. Alright, we use the key here. Now we can go even further into Resistor Jungle. Yeah, don't ask me why this area does why. I think it's actually one of the few uh, areas where it's designed like that. And... Not nah, bitch. Hold on, let me just use this. There we go. I'll defeat you! You are my enemy! Tapiermon, Digitamamon, and Kara Numemon. I thought that was Shell Numemon for a moment. Alright, so, let's see, Kara Numemon is an aquatic, and Terium and Tapiermon, tapir goddamn, I almost called him Terriamon. Tapiermon and Digitalmon are both light. Let's put them to sleep. 
One of the perks of playing this on emulator. You get to speed shit up. I just wish shit, it would have been smarter of me to like... Whatever. Yeah, uh, damn it. Oof. Yeah, probably should have put Kara Numimon to sleep from Alright. Let's deal with Tweedledee and Tweedledum here. So now we can focus on these two. And there goes Tape Your Mind. Soulful Kick. Heavy Tackle. Sharp Claw. Make sure he's still asleep. Let's see. Soulful Kick on Digitamamon. Fiery Breath. This should kill Digitamamon. Like so. Next, see, uh, yeah, soulful kick. I'm better off just trying to finish him off. Like so. Jesus Christ, they're in the 30s. Alright, Shadow and Caliber leveled up. Got a bunch of holy and aquatic XP that we don't need. Her? Huh? Ah, what's going on? My head hurts. Help me. Well, fuck you too, then. They're just gonna run off like that. Do not want that time. Let's see. Let's look up ahead. Oh, there's a trainer we have to fight. Alright. Uh, let's check our team. We need to heal. And while we're also here, we might as well also restore some energy as well. Alright, I think we're good. And Alrighty. Darn, my head hurts. What the? Defeat Nightcrow. Destroy the Union. Oh fuck, this guy's a Union Buster. Also, what are you doing? Get to the gate. What? What are you doing here? I see. You. Dumbass, you don't. Have you just realized what you've done? You'll pay for what you did to Balsa. I didn't do shit. Alright. We're fighting Ko. If you're playing Digimon on... If you're playing Digimon World Dawn, he would ha have a... If I remember correctly. A uh, Mach Galgamon and a Lekesmon. Either that or he, instead of Mach Galgamon, he... I don't know, I... If you're playing World Dawn, you would be fighting Sayo instead, who would have uh, Lekismon, and I believe either Mach... Yeah, I think Mach Galgamon. So, okay. We might want to consider tricking out, or at least knocking out, Fearmon first. Yeah. Water beats fire, bitch. And both of these assholes are level 40. 
Well, if you're, if you're on level 4. The Rise Grey one is like level 47. So, put Furamon to sleep, so that way he's out of commission. And because I don't give a shit about strengths and weaknesses in this. Rise and Rain, or Ray. Fuck me. Yeah, we're just gonna have uh, Luna, Shadow, and Fenrir target Rise Greymon while Furamon is asleep. Yeah. I would look up Rise Greymon's weakness in this game, but I personally don't want to. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, time to heal. Alright, still asleep. We may have to reset the sleep on Furmon. I think after a certain amount of turns, he wakes up automatically. There we go. Keep him knocked out cold. Might also have to try revolver. Oh shit. That one's gonna sting. Then we have to do this, but okay then. Since Rise Greymon is being an asshole. He's asleep. If he, if he stays asleep, we might be able to take advantage of that. Or not. So, let's heal up. Dry Revolver. This is why I decided to put Furamon to sleep. So that way I can just focus on Rise Greymon first. Take out the bigger of the threats. Uh, second first name was the first. Make sure you have at least one Digimon on heal duty. Since we have more of these, might as well use them. Alright. We just gotta focus on taking out Rise Greymon first. Something tells me next turn, Fear One's gonna wake up. Energy shot. That's gonna hurt. Yep, he woke up. Not like it matters. Because Reich's gray one is going down anyway. A little bit late to save your buddy there, don't you think? Alright, Reich's gray one is down. Uh, do I actually want to heal first? Heal first, then we can focus our attacks on Furamon. 
if I remember correctly, Furamon, the Coronamon line, is weak to dark, if I remember correctly. Uh, it's been a while, so I might be misremembering. And he's resistant to light. Now, it's kind of ironic that I'm using a fire move against essentially the Sun Lion. Let's see. Do I have. Uh, I do have a dark move. Yeah, you can tell that I'm playing this on emulator because stuff like that happens. And again, I own the physical version of both Dawn and Dusk, and I've never had those issues. So it's more than likely an issue with the emulator, which unfortunately might be a thing that we're going to have to contend with unless things change in the industry. There we go. I was right. Dark deals more damage. Oof. Gonna have to try and kill him this turn. Alright. Finish him off. Raging Darkness. Or not. Okay. Never mind. Shadow, do it. Fiery Breath. <laughs> Ain't that funny? Yeah, use fire on the lion that uses fire. Mmm, look at them delicious XP. You got some dragon XP and some holy XP. Luna grew to level 30 and learned a new skill. Fenrir's level 30. Shadow's level 26. And so is Calibur. Oh, we're going to have to ditch a new move. Let's see, Healing Spring. What is our weakest move? I think we can ditch Shadow Claw. Yeah, we'll ditch Shadow Claw. It's my loss. Can't believe I lost to Nightcrow. But even if you take over the world by force, Light Fang will never lose. We're here, the ones fighting for justice. Now, nah, bitch. What? You think justice is on your side? How can that be? Oh shit. All of Nightcrow, listen. Don't fight with Life Fang and get the hell out of there. There. What's this? Is it the Union? This is no choice. I'll have to continue this later. Life Fang will never lose to evil. Jeez, what the hell is his problem? Alrighty then. Let's get a move on. Let's go report to the chief. Let's report to the chief and then we'll call it apart here. Chief! Why did Life Fang attack us and resist our jungle? Hell if I know. <laughs> Do you think that, that the one that attacked the city and Light Fang are working together? We have no proof. Don't make such foolish accusations. So yeah, they're basically talking about how uh, it's odd how Light Fang is attacking them. If you were playing Walled Dawn, this would be uh, Night Crow. So in a weird way, you could say that both Light Fang and Night Crow were all screwed in the head.
Continue gathering information about life thing in Sunshine City. On it, boss. Da, 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 da. Seems that something's going on with Light Fang. Uh, no shit, Sherlock. I've sent your reward to the Dark Center. I... Keep up the bed of work. Okay, then. Well, let's go wrap this quest up. And then we're gonna call it apart. So yeah, I got a bit of story progress. Seems like some things might be up with Light Fang. <laughs> Quest complete, take your reward. Log. <laughs> we got a log. But yeah, let's head back home. Maybe do some digi converting. And then we're gonna call it. <laughs> Let's see if we can digi convert anything today. Digi convert. Let's see. See Cocoa Line. Hmm. But what to name you? See we have an idea. Mechabuto. Let's say to who combine Mecha with Kabuto, especially when you see one of its Digivolve forms. Might need to get a new form. So yeah, that I'm gonna call it here. Next time on Digimon World Dusk, we're going to do some more story progress. If you enjoyed this part, feel free to like and subscribe. And also feel free to check out some of my non-gaming stuff over on a Tumblr. Till then, see you all another time. Bye.